advanced ammunition from the production facility in Europe, in which the EU will also be a partner. Romania is set to receive 47 million euros in EU funding for this project, implemented by the Romanian state-owned company Romar jointly with Germany. In Romania, local administration staff are on two-hour daily warning strike at the end of the week. For the rest of the working hours, they will be on a Japanese strike. Protests were also held one month ago, but were suspended after civil servants were promised solutions for their salary problems. Meanwhile, the leader of the Solidaritate Sanitar Trade Union Federation met for talks on a prospective all-out strike. Healthcare employees have been consulted online on the issue. Unionists say the 20% pay rise recently approved by the government is insufficient. Unionists in the trade sector affiliated to the Cartel Alpha Bloc are also picketing the Labour Ministry headquarters to demand decent wages and working conditions. Vladimir Putin won the highest election score in the history of post-communist Russia and secured another six years as president of the country. He has been leading since late 1999. At midnight, he thanked his supporters at his campaign office, where he gave a one-hour press conference saying his main challenge in this new term would be resolving tasks related with what he calls Russia's special military operation in Ukraine. Russia's elections were criticized around the world. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said it was obvious for anybody that there is no evil Vladimir Putin will not commit in order to extend his rule. In turn, the White House claimed elections in Russia were neither free nor fair, given Putin's track record of imprisoning his political opponents. Poland said the vote in Russia held under extreme pressure made it impossible for the election to be free and democratic. News agencies mentioned that under Vladimir Putin, Russia was involved in several brutal wars in Chechnya, Georgia, Syria, and Ukraine. And the democratic system introduced after the fall of the Soviet Union has been replaced by a regime in which independent media have been forced out of the country and your position has been largely eliminated, with many of Putin's critics assassinated, arrested, or forced to leave the country. The United States Ambassador to Romania, Kathleen Kavanek, on Monday visited a site where the future modular nuclear plant in Doitesh, South, would be built. It is a project developed jointly by the Romanian state-owned company Nuclear Electrica and an American company. Kavalek said that the technology used in the construction of the modular plant is safe, and the project has the support of the U.S. government. The unit would become operational in 2029, if the feasibility and performance studies establish that the chosen site, a former thermal power plant, remains the best option. The Romanian Minister of Energy, Sebastian Bortuja, said in turn that he was optimistic about the implementation of this project, the first of its kind in the world. Currently, a part of photovoltaic panels has been built on the site of the former thermal power plant, which is connected to the national energy system. The opposition party, USRE, filed a simple motion against the Social Democratic Minister of Agriculture, Florin Barbu, on Monday. USRE says the minister treated disgruntled farmers with contempt since taking over the mandate and did not respond to Parliament's request for an activity report. Last week, USRE called on Prime Minister Marcel Jolaku to immediately dismiss Barbu following his statements in which he evoked in a positive context the name of the former communist dictator Nikolai Ceausescu. Former world number one Simona Halep is back in tennis after the Court of Arbitration for Sport in Lausanne reduced her doping suspension imposed by the International Tennis Integrity Agency from four years to nine months. Halep received a wild card from the organizers of the tennis tournament in Miami. And on Tuesday, she will be up against Paula Badosa of Spain. The Romanian starts from scratch in the WTA ranking after her long absence led to the loss of all points previously accumulated. Philip has two wins from as many matches against the Spanish tennis player who ranks 73rd in the world. Should she get past Badosa, Halep will play world number two, Arena Sabalenka of Belarus. 
100's best result at Miami Open is being in the semi-finals twice in 2015 and 2019, respectively. And that was the news. The European Union will allot 47 million euro for building a new powder factory in Romania. More details in this report by Bogdan Mate. A member of NATO and the EU, Romania must constantly adapt its security policies in the context of security developments in the region. On Sunday,